We're at the Huntley Project Museum located in Huntley, Montana, and it discusses the history of the Huntley Irrigation Project. In 1902, Congress passed the Reclamation Act, which allowed lands to be reclaimed, um, meaning that they were once unusable. The Reclamation Act allowed these lands to become useful farming grounds. Originally there were 20 states that were considered arid lands and so for example Arizona, California, Montana were just some of those states. The Huntley Project actually includes four towns and it's the four towns that the canal runs to and through. So it includes Huntley, Warden, Ballantyne, and Pompey's Pillar. And so those four towns make up what we consider the Huntley Project. The irrigation project was authorized in 1905 and finished in 1907, but of course it continued to be built upon as the years went by. The water in the canal originates from the Yellowstone River, and so they had to survey and decide what would be the best route to pull from the river and be able to access all the farmland in this area. It was one of the first um, irrigation projects finished here in Huntley Project and one of the most successful. The Huntley Project Museum really strives to preserve the history of the Huntley Project. It's a unique and exciting history that you don't get um, many other places in the United States. And so we try to preserve equipment that was used, uh, turn of the century buildings that were used, and give visitors an idea of what it was really like to be on the Huntley Project at the turn of the century. Well, in 1902, the Reclamation Act allowed people to come west and pretty much get free land. And in order to get the deed to this land, they had to live on and maintain and improve um, their parcel of land. So they would build tar paper shacks. Tar paper shacks were roughly 15 by 20 feet. They were lined with tar paper. These tar paper shacks served as temporary housing until residency was established and they were able to build larger homesteads or log cabins on their property. When these tar paper shacks were built on homesteads, the land was rough. It was covered with sagebrush and needed quite a bit of work in order to make it farmable. Although land was essentially free, a lot of the homesteaders that came out this way were not prepared for the hardships and the life of farming, and many moved on or moved back to where they had come from. So although life was really hard in the area, irrigation made it a lot more sustainable for the farmers. This is a large piece of equipment known as the Ruth dredger, and it was crucial in helping maintain and continue building the canals. This piece of equipment took about 12 to 15 men to run on it and on the ground to keep it running straight. So you can see down here this part would run along the ditch bank and this arm would lower into the canal to clean it out, which meant rotating these buckets around to clean out all the gunk and sticks and mud that would impede the water from flowing the way that it should. The canal continued to be used from 1907 until present day. So you can just imagine that um, with each season, they had things to fix and they wanted to keep it growing and continue to nourish all the land out here. I would say between um, 1910 and the late 1920s, this was a really uh, good place to start farming. Uh, 1930s brought drought, grasshoppers, depression, and that really affected, of course, a lot of the farms in the area. Some of the major agriculture crops that are grown in the Huntley Project are wheat, barley, oats, and uh, what we like to talk about most here at the museum, sugar beets. In this area of the Huntley Project Museum ground, we have our collection of early farming implements. Over here is mostly equipment that was used for haying, and then our beet equipment is sitting over here for our sugar beet farming display. This piece of equipment is a very early beet digger and it was horse drawn and crucial to pulling the beets out of the ground. This part of the beet digger is the tongue and it would attach to the horse that would pull the piece of equipment. The farmer would sit up on the seat and this would pull the beets out of the ground. After this piece of equipment pulled the beets out of the ground, manual labor was needed to come along, top the beets, and separate the tops of the beets from the actual beet. Another important part of the Huntley Project Museum 
along with discussing the importance of the canal, is the importance of the mechanization of farming in the area, which has allowed farms to grow and crop yield to grow as well. The Holly Irrigation Project continues to be important to this day. For over a hundred years, this has been allowing farmers in the area to continue their pursuit of agriculture.